One of the more technical pages that we have added is the website style management page. The reason that we did add this page was for the client who wants certain parts of their website more customized and not just following the same four initial colors. On the website style management page, you are able to change quite a few more options than you did when you initially set up your website. So, let's go through the various options. From the top, your primary website color, which would be your first dominant branding color. Your secondary website color, which is a contrast to your primary color. Then we have the website body background color, which is the color behind your body, or your content. And then your body text color, which is the font color of your content. We have added the option of a top bar background color, which is the very top bar of your website, where you have your social media icons, telephone number, email address. Here we have the top bar text color. Remember to keep the background and text in direct contrast to each other. Don't use similar colors, or your website will be unreadable. We now have a footer background color, which is the very bottom part of your site, where you have your copyright, terms, and conditions. We then have your footer text color over here. So again, please keep these colors in high contrast to each other. We have also provided two options for your font, including Google fonts and standard web fonts. As you select a font, you can preview it in the preview text box below. The main font would be for your headings, your menus, and generally the larger text of your website. The secondary fonts are for the standard fonts, like the body, or content area, a footer, the top bar text, etc. Let's move on to the last three columns. Firstly, you can edit the background color of the logo area and the main menu. This is useful if your logo is predominantly light and you want to add contrast to this area. Next, we can change the main menu text color. This is for the menus that are not selected. The menu link color would be applied to your menu links when active and then the hover, which would normally be the same as a menu link color, changes the text color when you move your mouse over a menu link. You can also change the height of your header area. The options are between 85 pixels and 130 pixels. You can change the top menu font size. So, if you would like your menu links to be bigger or smaller, or if they don't visually fit exactly into that space on a desktop or iPad or tablet, and they flow over two lines, then you simply edit the menu font size to bring the menu back onto one line. This is your drop-down menu section, which is for the links like the additional pages, additional contact pages, and the specialized pages that are all displayed in a drop-down menu. Change the background area for your drop-down menus here, as well as their text color. You may decide to keep this the same as the header background color, or if you prefer, make it completely different. Remember, keep a contrast between the drop-down text color, the drop-down menu link color, and the drop-down background color. You also have the option to change all the font sizes throughout your whole website. This area controls the seven various font sizes that are found on your website. H1 is usually your largest font, normally used as the title of a page, and normally the most prominent text on a slideshow, or call to action area, etc. H2 through to H6 gradually reduce in size, and are considered less important to search engines. And then finally you get your website text font. This controls the content, or what is known as the body text, as well as the top bar and bottom footer text. Once you've set up the text, colors, and fonts to your liking, you can simply hit the Change Website Style button, and then go view the changes on your site. If you do not see the changes straight away, it means your device, PC, laptop, etc. has cached the site. So simply click on Ctrl and press on F5 on PC, Command F5 on a Mac, and your page will refresh with all the changes that you've made. 
This is a lot more advanced than our previous forms, however, we aim to put you in control of the actual look of your own website. Thank you for viewing this tutorial, and I hope you have a better understanding of what changes need to be made, and where they affect your website.